so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go! Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, this is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Mm -hmm. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of his pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables. 
like that. You have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot. And I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa! Oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa! Okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah? Okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa! This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa. That is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is? Oh. He's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look, the tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa, okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa! Hey, do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. Oh, oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! Good job. Oh, you dropped it. Hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Open wide, here comes the carrot. Whoa! There you go. Is that yummy? Hey, tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa! You have a big mouth. Whoa! Look! I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah! Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them and this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. 
Whoa, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Ooh. So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh. Yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. <laughs> they have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa, look at that one. So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay, do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it, look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can, yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa, look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not gonna hurt them and so they're coming closer and closer. Whoa. As they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yeah, look at them. Hello. Whoa! Oh my God. Oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay, excited, not scared. Yeah. Okay, because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out, whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee, hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. 
because like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Whoa, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that. And they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay, yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera. Whoa. Whoa. This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi, why don't you go to get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Whoa! 
where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse, and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. <laughs> Here's another one. Ah, <laughs> come on. Oh, and another one. Look, come here. Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look, hello. No one's in there. <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! <laughs> Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> oh, do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! and a head catch. <laughs> this is where the livestock go, right over here, to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay, one last place. Come in here. Whoa, this is the tack room. Look, whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. Oh, oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tack. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion. Mm. For the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this, 
and then over its ears like this. And wow. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Whoa, okay, well, here I go. That's a good ride, thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch. Like this, this giant dump truck. Woo! And this medium sized backhoe. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank. Right here, this is full of water. It's about 1,100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right. So now we're on the inside of the skidgen. 
let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. It's me, Blippi! <laughs> Look, it's some dinosaurs! <laughs> Look at all of these dinosaurs! Whoa! I think we should sing and dance <laughs> to the dinosaur song. And when we get back, I'll take a closer look at with you all of these dinosaurs and the names of each dinosaur. Wow, this is gonna be fun. A long time ago on this planet Earth, before we ever existed, another kind of creature ruled the land, and this is a song for them. had three horns on their head in case they ever needed to defend. The Brachiosaurus had a really long neck and at the end was a itty bitty head. Pterodactyls would soar through the sky, their wings were enormous in size. And if they stood up straight on the ground, they would be as tall as a giraffe.
Oh. <laughs> the dinosaur song is so much fun. <laughs> and look at these dinosaur toys. Yeah, these are my dinosaur toys. And I really like them. I like them a lot. Because this pack of toys comes with a Brachiosaurus. Like in the song. Yeah, it has a really long neck. Whoa, like a giraffe. But even taller. Wow. And then a Triceratops. Whoa. Look at it. Has three horns on the top. One, two, three. <laughs> and then a Stegosaurus. Yeah. Look at the plates on its back. Whoa, Stegosaurus. Wow, I like the Stegosaurus. It sounded like this. <laughs> yep, that's the Stegosaurus. Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops. <gasps> and two more. Yeah, this little one. <laughs> it's not so little in real life. It is the Velociraptor. <laughs> yeah, Velociraptor. It was also in the dinosaur song. And the king and the queen of all the dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, also known as T-Rex. <laughs> Such a cool dinosaur. All of these dinosaurs are really cool and we're in the Blippi Dinosaur Song. If your child loves dinosaurs and they want these dinosaur toys, these exact ones, and they're the best that I've ever found because they're really big. The link is in the description. You can check it out. Helps me out if you check it out because it's an affiliate link. Well, see you later. T-Rex. All right. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Whippy!